All right, so I'm gonna do another installment to Liberty versus Freedom, and this is gonna be another thing that connects to my book. It's gonna be about Freetown Christiania. I want to talk about that place again because I only used it in examples of stateless societies. And I think it deserves to be mentioned more than that. See, in the United States, we talk about the legalization of weed, of marijuana, of that shit. And everyone on opposite sides are talking about freedom because they feel their freedom is being damaged. But no liberties are being damaged whether it's legalized or not. Well, it is. It's only being damaged because they're making laws about it. They're pushing into a situation where one person loses his freedom and then they start, someone's gonna start bitching, pretty much. And that's the thing. Freedom's just psychological. Law shouldn't be made just to damage, to give one person freedom because other groups gonna get bitchy about it. Because there's always gonna be a large group of people that's gonna bitch about something. You should focus on delivering liberty, not freedom. And that's what I'd say if this was just about the United States. But what about Freetown Christiania? Freetown Christiania polycentrically agreed upon the legalization of marijuana. But there's one thing that a certain journalist noticed about Freetown Christiania. They legalized one very special thing. Something that we don't make illegal. They made one thing illegal that we don't think should be illegal for the most part. It's a beverage. It's not a drug. It's a beverage. Although some people could say it's a drug based on certain properties. Britney Spears, uh, Beyonce, and Christina Aguilera, I believe, did a commercial advertisement for this in the Super Bowl. Uh, a wrestler wears this as a tattoo, or a logo of one of these little products, these narcotic-esque things, and it used to contain alcohol, but now it doesn't, but people are still complaining about it, uh, and it's soda. They don't want soda to be legal, it's polycentrically considered that soda is something that they just don't want. And so, it became something that's political, a uh, social, socio-political structure, metaphysical structure, means that this is a basic liberty, that they want to be separated from soda. So a journalist actually knew about this and decided to take a little trip to Freetown, Christiana, and sell this and certain fruits that they don't like and they they got mad and rightfully so and this person said well you guys like weed and give it to young kids and adults you you, you don't complain so he made a bad analogy he said why is it that you dislike soda and these fruits but you're okay with weed for kids we don't like that in doing so he ignores that our perspective of weed is just a thing of freedom both sides are like uh, uh, I don't want my freedoms being ruptured by this in here in the United States but because there isn't that political metaphysical wall like there is for murder where murder is commonly and strongly enforced and and strongly enforce that law and weed um, although it's not as extreme to have it legal or illegal there it's something that's strong enough for them to have a medical physical wall where it has liberties to it it's within their liberties to have weed be legal 
It's not just something psychological. It's socio-political. Socio-political for them to have weed be legal and soda like we have here illegal where I can have a coca-cola but I won't because I don't want my teeth to be in pain that stuff ruins your enamel and I have a lot of pain a lot of other places so why I have it in something as personal as my mouth but that's what I have to say I think that Free Time Christiania despite being collectivist which is something I don't really care that much and I think that collectivism is okay or Dunbar numbers is something where it's not that Dunbar actually it's pretty big bigger than the Dunbar unit whatever whatever with them it's okay what they have is different from what we have our complaints address freedoms think psychological whereas they have a metaphysical truth a liberty and what they value and that's what matters anyway I'm probably gonna go to sleep after this. I'm gonna take a shower, scrub my balls. Actually, you guys wanna see, I think I'm kinda hot. I mean, people see me from like this upper half, but um, I think uh, my mid half is pretty good section. I think. <laughs> but you know, regards to me, I'm crazy.